We're here to show you how to install a Moltoc armor lock onto the rear door and side door of this van. Before proceeding, we must ensure the van is on a flat level surface and that the parking brake is fully engaged. To complete this installation, these are the tools that we will require. Masking tape, a deburring tool, metric hex keys, a pencil, an automotive touch-up paint stick, step cutters, pointed pin punch, a ruler, a drill and a clean cloth. During this installation, our installer will be wearing suitable eye protection when using the drill. Installing Moltoc armor lock on a sliding side door. This side door armor lock will always be installed on the rear edge of the sliding door. Before we start the installation, it's important to check the doors for suitability. It's essential that the door and the side panel where the lock is to locate are flush to one another when closed. If the door is standing proud, we can adjust it as required. The armoured lock should be located where it offers convenient access for the driver without compromising any mechanisms located within the door. We can now apply masking tape to the door and the body where the armoured lock will be mounted. The side panel. Moving to the side panel, we require the armoured lock body part which has the cylinder located within it. Now holding the unit and gasket in position, we will use the card provided in the box to ensure that the unit does not overhang into the door gap. We can now open the side sliding door to ensure there's no obstruction. At this point we can manoeuvre the lock body to find the most suitable clearance position. Once confirmed, we can remove the unit and whilst holding the gasket in position, mark the two holes and the two slots on the masking tape. The armoured lock requires four fixings to be utilised on both sides for optimum strength. Using the step cutter in the centre of the two round fixing positions we have marked, we can drill the holes ensuring that we do not exceed 8mm in diameter for each one. In the absence of a step cutter, we could perform this operation using a series of drill bits. Before we can drill the two remaining holes, we need to move inside the van to calculate what positions are available. Using one of the fixed holes as a datum, we will slide a pencil along the panel until an obstruction is found. On this van, we have arrived at the panel return metalwork. We can now transfer this measurement to the outside, which will allow us to identify the best positioning for the fixings. It's good practice to spread the load as wide as possible but not too close to the absolute edge of the slots. We will now use a step cutter again, ensuring that the holes do not exceed 8mm in diameter. It's important to ensure that all the holes are free from filings and debris. To do this, we'll use the deburring tool. Once the filings and debris is removed, we can now remove the masking tape from this side panel. It's important to treat the bare metal with a suitable protective coating. We will use an automotive touch-up paint stick and allow it to cure. The armoured lock is supplied with a variety of fixings to allow you to select the most suitable type for your van. For this lock part, we are using four socket head bolts, four serrated washers, four large flat washers and two weld nuts. Holding the lock and gasket in position, we can insert a socket head bolt, a serrated washer and a large flat washer through the panel skin into one of the fixed hole positions, but not fully tightening at this point. Once done, repeat the process for the other fixed hole position. Taking a weld nut, insert it into one of the slots in the orientation shown. We can now insert a socket head bolt, serrated washer and large flat washer through the panel skin while sliding the weld nut along the slot until it locates with the bolt. Again, not tightening as before. We can now repeat the process with the other fixing. We can now operate the side sliding door to ensure it moves freely without obstruction. At this time, we can make any adjustments required. Once confirmed, we can pinch tighten all the fixings with the hex key. The sliding door. Take the remaining lock part and gasket and position it on the side door, aligning it with the existing installed part. Again, we can use the card provided to assist us with this process. It's important to ensure that the two parts of the armour lock do not touch, but the locking bolt operates smoothly. Now holding the gasket in position, we can remove the lock body part away and mark the two holes and the two slots. Using the step cutter again, we can drill the two fixed hole positions, ensuring that the holes do not exceed 8mm in diameter. For the other two fixings, these will need to be located through the door overlap. To calculate the fixing positions, we will need to measure the depth of the overlap. Now halving this measurement, we can transfer it to the outside of the door skin and mark it within the slotted area. When drilling the fixing holes for the overlap, caution should be taken not to cause accidental damage to the van. Using the step cutter again, we will now drill these two holes, ensuring that we do not exceed 8mm in diameter. Moving to the inside of the door, we can see we do not have direct access to enable usage of the hex key. Therefore, two access holes need to be drilled. Using a pointed pin punch through each of the drilled holes, mark the inner skin giving a good guideline where the access holes need to be. 
If it's not possible to mark the inner door skin, we can make calculations where the two access holes should be. These holes are for access only, so they do not have to be perfectly in line with the holes in the door skin, however, they must surround the door skin holes completely. Once these two positions are identified, we need to pull the rubber trim away from the door frame before we can proceed with drilling. This is to avoid damage to the rubber trim during the drilling process. Using the step cutter, we will now drill both holes, ensuring they are between 20 and 21 millimeters in diameter. We can now remove the masking tape and using the deburring tool, clean the holes we've just drilled, applying automotive touch-up paint to the bare metal as a protective coating. Holding the locking gasket in position, pass a socket head bolt, serrated washer and large flat washer through the access hole and into one of the fixed hole positions, not fully tightening. Repeating the process for the other fixed hole position, we can move on to the slotted positions. Inserting a weld nut into one of the slots in the orientation shown, we can take a dome head bolt, serrated washer and a small flat washer and pass it through the overlap and locate it into the weld nut, again not fully tightening at this point. We can now repeat this process for the other slot. Before tightening, we can check the door operation and the lock position and ensure the lock bolt passes freely between the two parts. At this stage, we can make any adjustments accordingly by moving the lock body part within the parameters of the holes we've drilled. Once confirmed, we can pinch tighten the fixings with the hex key and insert the two finishing grommets. The side door of this fan is now securely protected by an armoured lock from Multilock.